You've been here, but do you know where, where the basement is? Is it a uh, common man, access? I don't think it, it has common access. It's through that middle unit, or there's a back door. Yeah, I'll show you. For the basement? Yeah. yeah. Back, back door. door? Yep. With the TIN number? Uh, 303. I mean, that's true. That's true. Make it worth your while. I'll start saying that so we don't play that. <laughs> It's, I mean, it's, it's something like if James is talking and he needs something, then it's not like showing him to show some of this stuff. Give me key oh shit, key ain't even stuck down here! It gave him a down here too! Yeah, like they run this m***ing field! No, no, gone, no, gone, you could've gone back to Columbus. You don't come here running and telling me what to do. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with the view The pain is never gonna stop How about that? You got a new vehicle, huh? You're not driving the Ford Escape that's falling apart no more. It's going to be the door further down on the right hand side down there. The steps that have completely collapsed. Yeah. Man, that's the problem. It's cold. It's a little chilly. Sitting in there for too long. Oh. That's new. And do around here, you can see. Man. Look like more when it was in the house. You, know? <laughs> you get it in the truck and it's like, oh, it actually don't look like that much, but. No, we ain't, we ain't put the covers on there. Oh, shit, that's why. <laughs> that makes sense. We ain't got the covers on there. Mm hmm. Yeah. Right now we are. Let's see. Let's see what the uh, upward horizon has for us. Police Department. That's, I looked at it, I was like. I opened the blinds just to yeah. open the window by that one. It was, yeah. I looked at my glove and I thought it was crazy. Yeah, I, uh, I saw the side of the bridge. I saw the stove and I was like, let's get new ones. Dude. Way easier. What else up there? Are they? Oh my gosh, yeah, I already see. Holy crap, who put these stairs up? If you look at the cracking right here, you can see it's pulling away. Wow, well, we'll have that. Hold up, there's my original notice from like months and months and months ago. 
why I'll be damned. Hey, we got it. My bad, apparently I'm wrong. Sorry about that, it's my fault. So I wonder if they gave us, uh, maybe they mislabeled them thinking that those were the keys I mean, that's true. That's true. Make it worth your while. Today, I start saying that so we don't play that. <laughs> Yeah, bro, this, it doesn't give me any. It just says, I don't even know what that means. PF full battery. No beats. Oh, what's this? PF? What's that? And you need to take pictures of uh, the rips from the. I don't know. Yeah, do you got like a special piece here? Yeah, right now. Just... <laughs> Damn. That's FL for. Well, what's PF? I'm smelling. Uh, yo, it's mostly poop. That's cool. It's <laughs> oh, man. <coughs> oh, the toilet. Yeah. <coughs> I almost threw up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that stove is ours, so the only thing in here that really needs to be taken out is the couch, right? Maybe the bed frame, I guess. I guess. I'm gonna harass Vince. I um, get to redo the lock because I didn't know that basement door was open slash there. I didn't know there was a door at the top of the steps. Uncover all the windows. You got gloves on, right? Yeah. Okay, good, because that's the only reason I didn't do it. It looked like there was a lot of rope shit on them. I know she left her ID. I was trying to pick it up. You see under by your left foot there on the inside? Do you see that nice little weed pen they left? Oh, this thing? Yep. Yeah. Which is a cheap internet one. It's a head pen. Not that I would know anything about that. No, that's just that thing I heard about. That's the thing I heard about on the internet. I don't know the total yet. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. Well, it's like they purposely move things into the way. So there's that. Are you saying that these people weren't super helpful? Nope. Those couches didn't fill it in. Huh? Yeah. Oh shit, there's another one. Damn. Damn. Fried meat, Dave, on the other side. 
police order. Uh, I guess they did get a uh, notice that said that they were being evicted, so I guess that counts as police order. Oh, this is exactly how I left it when I did the uh, vacancy check. You got a light on me? Yeah. What is all of that? Isn't that just dirt? Ooh, it looks, it looks like, like feces. Let me get in there. I think there's a little bit of poo. You've been here, but do you know where the basement is? Is it a oh, common man. access? Or I don't think it has it? common access. It's through that middle unit. Or there's a back door. Okay, I'll show you. For the basement? Yeah. Back door. Yep. Wait, the TIN number? Uh, 303. Oh, shit. There's a fucking door. There was a door here. Yeah. And like, oh, they probably rented it when it looked like the... Ew. I know that flytrap did the Lord's work for God only knows how long. You get me. I put it on this one so that I can forget about it and back into it. We still got the paperwork here. It's. I mean, it's. It's something like if James. Is and he needs something that instead of like showing him to show us some of this stuff. Right, that's kind of where we are. We're just we kind of probably have to move along with like an eviction process of some some sort. I don't think so because unit number one says she does not live there. She just stays there. All her property is in a non-residential area because those little, uh, you know, uh, wardrobe or, you know, storage or something. Not be considered a, uh, a resident. A resident, it's not a living space. Right, right. I guess these things go too. <clears throat> Should be kind of port too, anyway. That is convenient for you with your schedule, and I'll send them there. Over me, I'm gonna hang up the phone. All right, I'm You're listening. Being rude as fuck. I have not met Grant. I have spoke to Grant. Joe. And stop threatening to evict us because we have done nothing wrong. Joe. It requires a 24-hour notice, right? So like, they could do it at any work, time at 24 hours. hours. Glad we could work it out, and it's mutually beneficial yeah, for everyone. You're wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Mission accomplished! Just take this across the front door so I can tell if somebody opened the door. Here you go, don't take a picture. Give me key, oh shit, key ain't even stuck down here! It gave me a motherfucking my down here too! Yeah, like they run this motherfucking field! No, no, go on, go on, you could have gone back to Columbus. You don't come here right now telling me what to do. I'm just asking why you don't even know, don't even start on them. I stay to my I don't be cool with nobody. I stay down here. I'm trying to get my house together. We go out. My life keep going. I'm trying to see why my wall cracking it. Why I'm paying all this money. That bathroom wall about to fall apart. Just cakes and 
shit. That's all that, yummies. Freaking uh, a dream mattress, man. Dream mattress. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think if someone from the city did come here, probably would be condemned. I'll get that floor in there. Would that, would that what, wood about to fall in? Well, we have to go back up that way. I'm getting the, uh, the bathroom walk right now. And then I have to go back and get that outlet. Go knock on the door. Almost, yeah. Video camera. No, no, go knock on the door and ask Bam to let them see the place for keeping. Because Tina said she's gonna give me her key. I was gonna move my stuff over there. Yeah, there's about to hit that truck. The car. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> um, I go to the apartment. And there's like a trail of breadcrumbs except it breadcrumbs except it's shit. And it's just like he pooped his pants and it was running down his leg and you could see like everywhere he stopped, all the way back from uh, the gas station down the street, all the way up to the front of the apartment. You know, he must have uh, filled with his key for a little bit at the front door because there's a bunch there. Tree lawn to put all that stuff. Oh, look at that. They left us some pickled uh, jalapenos. Pickled Where's Spicy. the shrimp? They said they were living shrimp. That's probably in the fridge. Probably in the brand new fridge that they somehow got. This place, 10 out of 10, sad. Yeah. Yeah. Check the Barbie. Maybe the shrimp's on the Barbie. Well, I'll take a gander, I guess. <laughs> what if it's not there? This is just some of the other tenants. Can you use a quick clean? Nah, add flavor. I'm surprised there weren't roaches on there. Actually, it smells good. It has that. It smell good. Mmm, hungry. Vinci hungry what we would call broom clean here at Holden Wise. Um, looks like she definitely came through and cleaned the unit up after she moved out. I mean, obviously, as you can obviously see what's going on here. It's a nightmare. She threw everything everywhere. And there's just horrendous smell coming from somewhere. So we're gonna have to figure out what that is. I don't know if it's like the fridge or what. Basically, a lot of times when someone will get evicted, they will just wreck a unit throw everything, break stuff, so it doesn't get used by anyone else or whatever. Come in here and get a close-up of this too. So like, you'll a lot of times find like old clothing, obviously, right? But those are like moldy socks. Um, I mean, that's a pretty good way to get hepatitis. So you gotta glove up before you come into these units because there's a lot of biohazards. Where you go? Step on my locks this time. Well, I mean, it was a one time mistake, bud. <laughs> Look at this aftermath. Oh, dude, they forgot his football. Let's go throw it. Oh, man. Good times. 
tenant just texted us and told us that uh, they ordered some DoorDash and the driver ran over their mailbox. It's crazy how much better I feel now just being out of there. Well, <laughs> another successful eviction. I like that they didn't put it on the door, they put it on the mailbox. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment. Missing glass. Oh, gotta check that garage too. Okay. There you go. Oh shit, it's open. Yeah. Oh, doesn't smell so good. Wait, there should be steps there. There used to be. They took them with them? Who takes a back porch? Can't have nothing in Cleveland, dude. You know what's funny? Oh. This is what it smelled like when we moved in. <laughs> that's not a joke, I remember showing this oh, thing and being like... It's, this is like one of those ones that's like, when you first start doing this job, you're like, this is not ever going to run. And then 50 showings and someone lights and you're like, holy shit. These are the oh, ones you don't see in the No, you're good, man. That's why I came in the back, but I wanted to stay out there the way.
Yusuf's gonna go meet Cameron. Huh? He, he ate them. Did you? He ate them. Well, I just. Well, she ate those two. Yeah, I didn't really want to scoop her with the pole, but. She's just there. Okay. As long as you don't pull it. Oh, gosh. Good, you're good. Hi, baby. It's okay. It's just the least you want to go potty? Come on. What's that? Okay. Did your bit break? The first one did, but it's at like the bottom. Is that one broke this track? Hmm? That one broke you at? No. Here, let me check. These aren't your average property manager thing. These guys I know. Are, uh, <laughs> yeah, so the classic thing. This is it, and we'll make it live. Huh. Bro, oh, what, what was you saying? Uh, bro. Hey, dude, I have nothing more to say, man. Okay, yeah, right. He's been doing this a long time. I mean, 34 years. Yeah, yeah. He's seen every kind of lock there is. Hello, Baylor. Hello. Trying to, trying to pop all the pins. Let's see. You still got the paperwork here. It's, I mean, it's, it's something like if James is talking and he needs something, then instead of like showing him, he show some of this stuff. Right, that's kind of where we are. We're just we could kind of probably have to move along with like an eviction process of some, some sort. A residence? A residence, not a living space. Right, yeah. right. No so bathroom. If you need us to haul her out of here, we did yesterday, we'll do it again. Okay, I told, I, I, told, I told her she had 15 minutes to gather her stuff and get out. Yeah. So if you guys want to swing by again in a couple you minutes. Right now? Uh, let me holler her down real quick. Let me see if she's getting out. Tell her the police that were here yesterday are here today. Okay. If she wants to go, we got a free ride. Okay. <laughs> Bro, what, what was she saying? Uh, Bro. Hey. I have nothing more to say, man. Okay, yeah, right. He's been doing this a long time. I mean, 34 years. I'm not going in the needle room. Oh, no. Fuck no. There's too many obstacles in here. Yeah. Here you go, internet. There's needles there. Looks like the tenant just left trash, like, everywhere, including the balcony. Um, the good thing about this unit, actually, though, is that it includes, if you were to rent this, <laughs> if you were to rent this, it includes no doorknobs, but it does have a Lamborghini included with the rent. Um, that's an amenity provided at no charge. Obviously, you can tell from looking around, this unit's basically destroyed, but fortunately, that's a risk and something that's going to happen if you get into rental properties. But uh, that's what we're here for. You know, we want to try to fix the problems that uh, savages create. It's crazy how much better I feel now just being out of there. Two west. Two well, <laughs> another successful eviction. This property, this is located in Cleveland, Ohio. So we took all of that crap out of the apartment. So to get us to be allowed to do that, we had to spend $750. Then the actual cost of taking all the guys over there and removing all that crap, changing the locks, 1147 Anything that the tenant wanted or the tenant, you know, at that point, all their crap is outside, they can go to their pile of stuff and they could take it all with them. If they don't take it all with them, at 5 o'clock, 
we have to go back to the property and remove all that stuff. You can't just leave crap everywhere. You'll get a fine from the city. Notice that she is driving a Cadillac Escalade. <laughs> if, that, if that isn't the most ironic thing you've ever seen in your life, the fact that this girl, seven months, giving her sob story to the bailiffs, giving her sob story to the crew out there, and she pulls off in her Cadillac Escalade. So these poor people in the other units are washing their clothes after him they're getting his shit on their clothes. Evictions are already a pretty stressful situation, so we do not want to add any stress to this situation. We do not want to bother the crew or get in their way. Uh, so we're gonna let these guys do their thing. I got my flashlight, I did. There's that other lock that used to be right here. I guess there's two, like, I feel like that lady's living down here for a little while. I helped my mom out upstairs. And uh, I've been cleaning the basement, but it's like, it looks like mess, but it was all closed on top of this before. So it was even worse. A lot of it is stuff that she had stored down here. Okay. They just, like, ripped it apart, you know, so I'm trying to pick it up, clean it, and take care of it. I just have to sweep this right now. And the canvas. But I helped take care of the... You got a hard-working American down there in North Carolina. Tried to be the nice guy. Tried not to evict her for those first three months. And now he is seven months into this thing. And this girl's giving her sob story as she pulls away. How you doing? Good. Um, yeah. For starters, before I start looking around for pictures, this is pamphlet is for you. And then this is a sheet where you can say that you have received it, print, sign, and date. The mass of, get that mouse, the mass of cockroaches and mice that are in this unit that I'm sure maybe that tenant could have caused. Crikey, that's a beauty. Look at the color on her. <laughs> I get that you're living here, right? But this is not your house, right? This is my house. No, nah, man, I'm going to be paying, no, man. You guys can't be no, here, man. But you understand, I don't know what the shit is. No, you, you understand, this is actually my house, bro, and, and you're not actually paying no, for it. You can't be coming over so, here. So, oh, bro, shit. Oh, my God. Bro, what bro, is he bro, doing? Bro, bro. Look, look, look. I'm coming Holy here. Holy shit, did you have to see bro, that? I'm trying. All right. Let's check out the inside. Let's see what it looks like. Knock, knock, knock. What's up, man? Welcome to my crib, man. There's always a couple of nettles. It's a lot more than I thought. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.